From big saws to jig saws, hand saws to band saws, even back saws to hack saws, all these tools have their specific purpose. Hack saws are chiefly for cutting metal or other tough materials. So what is it that gives them their cutting edge? Hacksaw blades are made from a wide range of steel alloys. Here, a thin band of steel feeds into a machine that cuts it into blanks of 30 centimeters long and 1.3 centimeters high. The blanks are loaded into a jig, 300 at a time, where they're compressed into a block for easier cutting. The block is then fed into a machine called a mill grinder. It cuts teeth into the upper side of the blanks. A water-based lubricant washes away the metal particles. This hacksaw model has a 24-point blade. There are 24 teeth every two and a half centimeters. A brush is used to remove any metal residue. The quality control department inspects each blade for flaws. Then it's off to the next phase. A separator detaches each of the 300 blades, aligns them, then sends them through a setting machine. The machine bends the teeth to either side at a slight angle. This is called offsetting. It will enable the blade to clear away particles as it soars, preventing it from jamming. Now it's time to harden the teeth. The factory does this by heat treating the metal. A worm gear aligns the blades to enter a heating coil. In this process, the electromagnetic heating coil heats the teeth to temperatures as high as 1200 degrees Celsius, depending on the type of metal. This takes no more than two seconds. After the blades exit the heating coil, the surrounding air cools them down over the next several hours. This phase is called air quenching. The blades are now ready for printing. An offset printing press applies ink to raise lettering on a cylinder. That cylinder transfers the ink to strips mounted on another cylinder. These strips then print the company name, the blade length and the number of teeth per inch on the side of the blades. Now, a machine inserts the blades in groups of five into slots, called fingers. The fingers rotate the blades and place them on a conveyor belt. The machine raises the blades and tapes them together at one end. This makes it easier to transport them to another part of the factory, where production continues. Next, the hacksaw's frame, the component that holds the blade, is made. The frame's components are placed in a jig that's positioned on a rotating carousel. A robotic welder fuses the components. A press punches three holes in the handle for attaching a foam or plastic grip. The two halves of the grip are fitted into a sonic welder that fuses them using high frequency sound waves. The sound waves create friction at the seam and this generates enough heat to melt the parts together. Now the frame is ready for the blade. An automatic device tightens a wing nut to put tension on the blade. Randomly selected blades receive a final quality control check. The testing machine cuts through a block of stainless steel. The machine performs this test six times per blade. Then the computer calculates the average number of strokes. If that average falls within the norms for this particular model, the batch gets the thumbs up. Keeping those thumbs, of course, well clear of the blades.
never slow up No, I don't take shit, I got no love For the fakeness, if you wanna play tough And wanna hate this, I'll always show up And make a statement